today we will read the Sleeping Beauty. The children went to pick blackberries. There were lots of blackberries. The bushes had thorns. Mind the thorns, called Wilma. Ow, said Chip. The thorns are sharp. Wilma saw some big blackberries. She had some thick gloves and some clippers. Wilma put on the thick gloves. She cut the stems with the clippers. The children went home. They ate some blackberries. Yuck! This isn't ripe, said Biff. Biff picked up the magic key. It began to glow. The magic is working, said Biff. The magic took them to a castle. Wow! said Kipper. A man was stuck in the thorns. Ow, help, he called. I can't get free. Wilma put on the gloves. She got the clippers. She cut the man free. Thanks, said the man. I wanted to get in the into the ga castle, but I got stuck in the thorns. I am a prince, said the man. I need to get to the castle. There is a princess in there. We can help, said Wilma. We can lend you these clippers. The thorns were sharp, but the prince cut away in. Mind the thorns, he called. At last, they got to the castle. The prince pushed the door open. They went inside the castle. Everyone was fast asleep. There was dust on everything. Yuck, said Kipper. Look at the, the cobwebs. There were cobwebs everywhere. There were even cobwebs on the people. At last, they found the princess. She was fast asleep. Now what do I do? said the prince. You must kiss. You kiss the princess, said Kipper. Then she wakes up. Everyone knows that. The prince kissed the princess. Yuck, said Chip. The princess woke up. At last, said the princess. Everyone in the castle woke up. The magic key glowed. Time to go, said Biff. The prince doesn't need us now. The magic adventure was over. Dad was fast asleep. She's no sleeping beauty, said Biff. Thanks for joining this story. See you next time. Bye.